Okay guys, what we got going on here is Valve Relief 101. Valve Relief Cut 101. Um, in front of me here is a stock Mazda head directly as received from Mazda. This is one of the latest ones, just got it a few weeks ago. Um, it's a core head. Um, there's no valves or anything in it and this is what they're currently selling um, as, as a replacement head. Um, so unmodified, untouched by any builder directly uh, received from Mazda. Yeah, still got this Mazda packing on it. So, um, what we want to talk about is the different areas in the valve relief uh, cut or different components that make up that cut. Uh, the valve relief cut is this cut, is this cut all the way around here. Okay, and there's several components to a, to a cut. Um, First component would be the diameter, and specified in the rules, uh, we have a max diameter that is defined for this cut all the way around here. And then the cut has a sidewall to it. I don't think, this stuff is really small and hard to see, so um, it has a sidewall here to it. Goes all the way up along there. Uh, the larger the diameter of the cut, the more this wall walks up the casting will actually sometimes intersect into the combustion chamber surface up in, or, or the deck surface up in here. And the wall, as it goes all the way around the cut, you can see it has just a small little tiny, tiny lip uh, where, it, where it meets the casting all the way around. Okay. Uh, there's the bottom of the cut. The bottom of the cut is this surface right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's the very bottom of the cut. Right there. Uh, and that meets the, the valve seat. This area in here is your valve seat and that's steel. It's a steel insert pressed into the, in, into the casting. So there's your valve seat area there. And you can see right about there the valve seat stops. Okay, so, and then in the corner of the cut, very, very, very corner right here, right in there, uh, there's, that's where we're seeing variation between builders. Um, the rule, uh, uh, goes on to that uh, the cut uh, must be left sharp, unmachined or unmodified, um, undeburred, so on and so forth. Um, how the cut is done? Um, this is just a basic end mill. This isn't the actual cutter you would use to cut this head, but it'll get the point across. Um, and off the end of the end mill there would be a guide that comes off the end and that guide goes down inside into the valve guide and that centers it <clears throat> uh, uh, so when you make the cut it is centered onto the valve guide so you would take the cutter and the cutter would just come down with the machine spinning and come down and it would just plunge in removing the material uh, on the sidewall here Right on this side wall and down to the bottom. Uh, and the variation we're seeing in builders is on the very end of the cutter uh, is a very sharp tip okay, on, on this cutter. And some builders are using a rounded uh, a, a radius, if you will, on the end of that cutter or a chamfer or a blend, if you will. So as they're making the cut, it's leaving that radius or chamfer uh, behind. Um, I have some radius gauges here that I've been used, using to check a lot of the different heads from a lot of the different builders. Um, this one right here is a 1 32nd uh, radius gauge. This is a 1 16th, so this is a, a 0 0.01. Uh, 0 0.03125 and this one is 0 0.0625 okay 
and how I go about checking them. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick this up on video, but you can see right on the end of the radius gauge, there's this little corner right there, right, right, right there. Uh, and I stick that down inside of the head. And I don't know if you can see just a little bit of light bleed through there. Uh, and that's checking the radius. Okay, and that was a that was a sixty thou or sixty one thou and thirty one thou. And just a little bit of light bleed down in there on that one as well. Okay. So we're basically well, checking this radius right here or here. I'll just give you an idea of scale. There's my finger. Um, so a very, very small radius. Obviously you can't, there's not enough room in there or not enough material to put anything larger in. Um, so about max uh, I've seen uh, being done is a, a 60 thousandths radius in that area. Uh, and that's the area that, that is kind of um, in the rules as well, what is, some are, are describing as a gray area in the rules, other are describing as it's an open area in the rules, uh, the area in contention. Uh, and, and these cuts are on, on, every, on every, uh, every hole. All, all, all for each chamber in the entire head, obviously. Um, ho hopefully, this explains a little bit more um, about what what we're what everybody's talking about here, so everybody has something they can visually see. Um, as for uh, what came from Mazda originally, uh, <laughs> stock Mazda heads, uh, I've measured anywhere from a 0 0.010 or a ten thousandths uh, radius on the heads, uh, all the way up to a forty thousandths chamfer. So instead of being a, a radius, um, like on the end of my ra radius templates here, uh, it's just got a, a small chamfer on it. And I've seen those uh, up to forty thousandths of an inch on a stock Mazda head, uh, as received from Mazda. Uh, hope that helps um, clarify what's going on uh, at this point. Take care.